Yes, Namit, we are good to start. Over to you. Oh, thank you, Pranay. So, hello all. Uh, this is Namit here. Uh, thank you for joining us in this today's session. Uh, today, uh, we will be covering a topic on customizing uh, backend UI in Mocky. Uh, just for a recap, uh, in in la uh, last couple of sessions, we have gone through uh, Mocky framework, uh, a, a good introduction about Mocky framework, uh, its business artifacts, uh, also uh, regarding the uh, component and its directory structures, screens, how to develop uh, your own screen, how to make your own forms, and uh, related stuff uh, regarding Mocky, uh, existing in Mocky. Uh, so today uh, we will be going uh, and uh, look into how we can customize uh, the existing uh, Mocky business artifacts to develop our own management or backend UI. So uh, as you have uh, already gone through this uh, a wonderful document uh, in Mocky application where, uh, the, the, where, where we get a multiple business artifacts like uh, universal, mental, uh, universal data model, uh, mental USL and uh, simple screen. So basically to develop uh, our own uh, backend UI, we actually need uh, three uh, main uh, uh, libraries which help us in developing our own uh, backend application. So these are mental UDM, USL and simple screen. So as already uh, you can see we have uh, we can develop our own accounting facilities, HR, order by parties, or uh, products. So all data model related to these business uh, domain or, uh, are available uh, in UDM. Uh, related service uh, services and crowd operations, you will find it over uh, uh, USL and uh, related screens to navigate to one page to another page. Everything is available in simple screen. So uh, for today's uh, session, we will be actually uh, taking a use case where we will be uh, developing our own custom uh, backend UI, and then uh, we'll be customizing a, 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 a screen for as per our uh, needs. So we'll be using all these three uh, libraries or business artifacts, uh, artifacts in our a component. So let's start in. So uh, uh, as just discussed, we uh, uh, had, uh, 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 so here is basically our uh, Mocky framework where we have a runtime folder in which we have this component uh, folder. Uh, this component folder uh, is used to actually add our, our custom component uh, related to Mocky, which you want to develop. So uh, we, we are going to develop uh, a, a, a UI screen for uh, customers. So I've added a customer, I've already added a customer component over here. So uh, in this, you can see we have uh, a data uh, folder where we have uh, added a data uh, for, for this component. And there's another uh, uh, file say component.xml, uh, which contains all the dependencies. So just I said, like we need uh, dependencies of three uh, artifacts, that is UDM, USL, and uh, simple things. Uh, we need to make sure like uh, we add these three dependencies over here. So uh, when, we uh, when we create this uh, component, uh, this component is uh, we uh, this uh, we have already that means we have load uh, we are now eligible to write our own custom screens and uh, screens and forms in this particular component. So if we go and start uh, and try to run this, uh, let's see what happens. So when we run this, so we see our component is actually loaded. 
into the root directory. So here we can see this customer is already loaded. This component is loaded. So now, uh, if we go and try to run the uh, UI, so what we see. So here is the uh, 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 my local environment where I'm uh, developing this uh, uh, backend component for customer. I just logged in with uh, the test login. And here is the uh, root screen where we can see the menus. But we just loaded a component, but it is not visible over here. So why it is so? So uh, as in our last, if you are uh, going through our last uh, uh, couple of documents, uh, our uh, our, uh, our the training sessions, you will see uh, how to add this menus on the web root. So we are going, uh, it is done with the help of uh, the mock, uh, mockyconf.xml file. So we'll just copy as it is mockyconf.xml file over in our custom component. I'm just copying it from the example uh, folder. I added it. So here we can see uh, just removing the additional comments and the uh, licensing thing. So here we have uh, we have packet. We have added uh, a screen in this packet. So in this screen uh, for web app, we are we need to include our own uh, our own uh, screen, which is of customer. So what we do here is now we need to add a screen. So we uh, we add a directory structure name screen. In this uh, structure, we can add as number of our screens we we need. So I'm just adding a a screen. So uh, here's here is the, here is our screen. In this screen, we need to actually uh, add. Uh, if we want to add the screen, we need to just uh, uh, add it as a sub screen. So I'm adding the title customer. Let's keep the menu index as it is, or we can just remove it. And here should be the component name. Customer and in screens we added customer screen dot XML. Yeah. So this is the screen which we added right now. And uh, in this screen right now it is empty. We need to uh, add our custom screens over here. So what we do is, uh, as we said, we uh, we have simple screen uh, dependency. So we can uh, use uh, and uh, this simple screen because this simple screen contains all the artifacts related to uh, uh, accounting, uh, uh, catalog, all the business models we can find, all the screens for that all the business models we can find over here. So uh, I'm just adding uh, a screen over here, copying this simple screen file, and then this removing additional comments. Uh, we don't need this uh, menu images, and let's keep it aside. Uh, I'm removing this. Okay, so we are adding panel and adding panel customer panel, keeping it pop up, keeping title, winning this title. And now here we have, yeah, so here we have subscreen. Now we can add subscreen item in this. Now, so uh, as just we said, we need to add a menu on this screen. So in mocky.config, we we said uh, we said like on web root, we need uh, on web app, we need to include customer. 
customer uh, in this web route. So we have added a customer screens.xml. In this customer screens.xml, we need to add a screen uh, which will be uh, pointing it to the uh, simple screen customer. So in this, uh, we we uh, we uh, we are now adding the screen uh, location and in this simple screen, you will find customer.xml. I'm just copying the path and component. So this is the path, and we added this. We added this. Uh, uh, we added this uh, uh, simple screen customer dot XML in our own custom uh, custom customer screen to be used uh, to develop a backend API. Now, this is it. We are using the default uh, mocky uh, or we can say default uh, uh, out of the box screen for uh, customer screens to develop our own backend API. So let's see what uh, it happens when, uh, when we restart the application. We just need to make sure uh, if, if, when I just uh, added this customer screens.xml, I also uh, added a component screen data setup.xml where we are defined uh, artifacts to give permissions uh, to use this customer screens.xml. So we just need to copy this and uh, load in, uh, uh, we need to import this data uh, in the backend. So that uh, whenever we try to use this customer, uh, custom uh, customer screens or XML, it should have all the information. So our, our uh, server is already restarted. I'm just landing back to the screen, and if I refresh the page, yeah, you can see here is we have the custom uh, customer component visible on the menu list. So if you navigate to this customer or click this customer, we can see the whole uh, screens of customers are now visible to us. Here's the find screen, uh, we can create new person, uh, we can see the customer data, if we have any customers in, within us, we can use CSV and everything. So basically hold this uh, screen uh, actually uh, coming us from the simple screen. So, Developing uh, a basic component uh, is done, but uh, our uh, generally in business we need a requirement where we need to customize the screen for business needs. So let's say we need uh, we need to customize this uh, added customer uh, screen uh, where we do not need this internal uh, comment or shipping section, or we can say we do not need this rule or classification uh, section. So how we can customize this screen, which is coming from the simple screen and use it in our custom component. Let's see. Uh, landing back on our uh, IDE. And uh, as, as, as I just said, we need to customize it. Uh, the custom uh, screens are coming, at, uh, coming from simple screen. So if we need to custom, customize the added screens, we need to have our own uh, customer.xml so that we can use that. Now here is the case. If uh, Do we need to customize uh, all the fine screen, all the financial screens, all, all the things which are, uh, uh, are, uh, are shown on that page? No, we can use the existing one also and we can use our own custom component also. So uh, I'm showing it here uh, for you. 
So now if we navigate on, uh, as we said, we, we need to add our own screen. So I'm just, uh, in the screen, I'm adding my own custom screen. I'm adding a file with name customer. Let's change the name to customers.xml. Okay. I'm creating it. And from customer.xml, I'm copying all this content and copying it over here, removing the additional comments. Uh, we have the customers find screen. Okay. So we added this uh, customer screen. Let's keep it uh, as it is over here. And uh, we can now change. Uh, this is the customer screen which is loaded, uh, which is loading first. Uh, in this customers, we change it to our uh, pointing it to our custom uh, customers.xml file. So let's change the path. Come on, screen. Okay. So we have, uh, we made the changes, and now we can see the back and up. Now, when I load this page and I try to click the, the customer, wait a minute. Here we can see we cannot load the page. So what is the case? When I uh, move back to my course and when I uh, open the customer.xml, I can see uh, I have added two subscreens. One is the find customer and other is the uh, so yeah, coming back uh, to our customer screen. So we just saw like uh, when we uh, try to hit the customer and access the, uh, uh, the uh, our custom component uh, customer, we were not able to access it. So the reason is uh, we added a default item uh, or sub screen here, find screen, and uh, uh, it is in our custom component. So Mocky will search for this find customer in our own default screen. And we can see we we don't have this find customer screen over here. So what we can do is we need to include this find customer, which will be pointing uh, to the uh, simple screen file. So we just go and copy this find customer, search for find customer.xml and copy the path you can copy the context this path go back to customers and copy the the find customer path in the index to them and this is it we can see now if, if i just uh, load the screen and check whether it's working. Wow. So the find customer screen is uh, loading properly. This find customer screen is coming from the uh, from the simple screen. So now our requirement, uh, back, coming back to our requirement, uh, we need to customize our own custom screen. So uh, we need to customize the edit customer screen. So here uh, to uh, navigate to customer edit screen, we need to go to customer data. So because this, uh, the, this is the same reason why it is not, uh, it is right now showing as hidden because uh, it is looking uh, in our screen for customer data uh, screen. Uh, as it is not in our own custom uh, component, so it is actually showing, uh, it is uh, not allowing us to access the particular menu. So what to do if we want to have this uh, 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 menu enabled, we just go search for add the uh, customer data uh, screen. There's the customer data screen. If we go into the simple screen, simple screen, screen, simple screen in the customer, we can find the customer data dot XML. Copying it, uh, the path, pasting it over here. 
uh, removing as uh, if we uh, we need we do not need it as a tabulated menu. So I'm uh, setting it to false. So if we if if we don't put it to false, uh, right now our customer panel says like all the subscriptions panel, uh, all the subscriptions item which are added over here will be added as a tab. So if we keep it uh, as a uh, true uh, menu include true, so it will add it it will add as a tab over here. So we don't want it, so we actually uh, remove it uh, right for now. So if so, uh, what uh, if we go back and see the screen uh, and we reload the page? So here's it. Uh, we can see the customer data uh, is now uh, actually visible, and it we can actually access it. So here's the customer data page. We now. We need to uh, have this section clickable, where we, ca we, we can open and uh, use the edit customer screen. So we just need to create an edit customer screen. I'm doing the same. Uh, for now, I will just copy the simple screen edit customer. So that we can see. Uh, if if this uh, link is now visible or not, I just uh, went back, see and open it. So yeah, now you can actually hit this uh, particular, click this particular uh, ID and land it over uh, edit uh, customer screen. Basically, this screen is coming from the uh, simple screen. So we need to customize it uh, for for our need. We will just remove this. Uh, rule section and classification section, and uh, we will also see if we can change this uh, form for our custom needs. I just go back and uh, so yeah, we need to uh, as I just said, we need to customize the edit customer screen. So we need to have this edit customer screen in our uh, in our custom component. So I go back to my folder structure in customer in screens. I just added a file with the name edit customer directional. You can follow any of the uh, four ways which is uh, provided by Moki, uh, the directory structure. Uh, I'm just using the uh, uh, location uh, way to actually use the uh, include the uh, edit screen. So I'm just adding this edit, screen, edit customer. Uh, copying the existing edit customer into my custom edit customer. And I just go and remove this rule section and classification section. So this is it. Uh, we have added our edit customer screen and uh, we have we removed the two sections which we, want, which, which we do not want. And if we go back uh, onto the page screen, and if we try to refresh this, we can. Uh, just a minute. So yeah, uh, we didn't uh, actually replace the name of our uh, our part of our edit screen. Just changing it to customer. So yeah, uh, we are back on this, and if we go back to the screens and see if it works or not. Yes. So just we saw we have a rule section and classification section, and we removed it from our custom screen and it is customized. So this is how we customize uh, our backend UI for our basic needs. So similarly, if you want to uh, edit this form section, you can. Uh, you just need to go back to this edit customer screen. Here's our edit customer screen. We can see all the transitions and all the sub screens over here. We have some sections over included over here. So uh, edit. Uh, so basically, uh, it is uh, this section. Which we just saw, we we need to uh, change. It's coming from this section. It's coming from <coughs> edit party screen, which is coming from simple screen. 
So as we need to customize that section, we need to customize the screen. So I just copy this and add it in, into my custom screen, add a file, search for the existing one, copy the whole page, paste it over here. And going back to top, removing the additional comments and locating our section. So, so basically here's the form, edit product form, where you can see all the fields and screens. We just said like we don't want the uh, internal comments and shipping instructions in our page. So I'm just removing it. Uh, I want my button name should be just update. Uh, update person new. Uh, I just changed all that in my custom screen. Going back to the added customer. I have a currently it is coming from the simple screen. I just need to go and change the the screen path to what we have uh, in our custom component. This is it. Now we just we need to go back to our uh, screen and just replace this page and thing. Uh, I just need some mistake in copy. So yeah, uh, basically, uh, this is how it works. We just need to remove this and or we need to change anything over here. We can just do this and uh, comment section uh, F I and, uh, and we load it. We can find everything changes uh, can be done over here. So this is how it works. Uh, you can customize your screen, your sections over here, and it will work for us. So this is all from my side. Any questions, any queries? Uh, yeah, Namit, uh, I would say this was the first practical session that we saw on uh, Moki, like how can you customize uh, a specific component and then specifically we talked about how can you use the uh, screens and forms xml uh, to customize the ui if there are there is any specific need or requirement that you have uh, those customizations can be done this way let's see if there are any other questions uh, we can wait for a couple of minutes uh, namit do we have an option to extend existing form uh, I, I I didn't find any search, but I can just take a look and uh, let you know on that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, I guess there are no further questions. Definitely the session recording will be available and uh, anytime those discussions can be done on that video and comments. At the same time, we can also discuss things on Moki uh, mailing lists. If there are any specific questions regarding the customizations, the whole community is always available to uh, help. And uh, we can always draw a guideline on the best practices of doing such things. The question from Deepak is actually an uh, interesting one where we have to be very much aware like how do, how do we specifically extend a form? Uh, that is something we should uh, look for. So yeah, um, we can come, the, come to that uh, in the upcoming discussions or sessions and definitely we can take the question to uh, community as well. So for this session, I think we are good. Namit, it was a very helpful session. Thank you so much.
uh, for taking us through this uh, uh, structure and uh, giving us this practical uh, view of uh, whatever is uh, done in Moki on this uh, customization front for UI specifically. And I would like to thank all the participants as well for sparing their time today. Um, this video will be available on the Hotwix Developer Network YouTube channel. You can refer it anytime. And uh, yeah, this is it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.